and welcome to Drinking Beer with Don 2023 uh, beers number 9 through 12. This is, if you're just tuning in, uh, a series where I review the 24 beers in the Cascadia Beer Advent Calendar. This is the fourth or fifth year I've done this and uh, it's, a good, it's a good time drinking all the different beer that exists so far all in British Columbia. So. Beer number nine. Here we go. Da da da. I smell bananas, oddly enough. But it, the smell reminds me of that. The smell, so let's give it a try. Very hoppy, in fact. The more I have it, it's almost like the hops are, are slappy on the side of the face. It's not bad, it, but it is hoppy, I think. Hmm. It's um, it's a look. It's very complex. It's not. It's not a simple beer. Hmm. Yeah, there is that background flavor. First, I thought it smelled like bananas. Now I'm not so sure. But it, there's definitely something interesting going on here. I'm gonna guess, and I've been known to be wrong most of the time, but this almost seems like a Northwest Pale Ale or something like that, or an. Uh, or not a type of IPA, but it's, I don't know, we'll find out. I'm really liking this. I think this is on the same level as the, um, as the beer I had yesterday. It was the dark, this is a lot, this is, again, because it's rich, it's, it's got a lot of flavor to it. I might even like this a bit better. I'm going to give this an 8.6. There you have it, 8.6. Now we'll do the reveal. Go. Yeah. I just had a hint of the can. It's a Belgian pale ale or blonde ale. Let's see here. It's Rainbow Peaks Belgian blonde ale. Well, that explains a bit of the something going on. Let's see it. It's the choice of malts and hops they use from Townsite Brewing. All right. It's not bad. The brewery Townsite Brewing out of Powell River, British Columbia. Listed as a Belgian Blonde Ale, 6.6% uh, alcohol, I don't know the IBU, but I'm going to say there's a fair number of hops in it, and I'm going to guess around 40. Uh, here's, the website for Townsite is neat, but it does not list this beer, it must be a special run. But the can says, pouring out a bright golden hue with hints of apricot, ripe fruits, citrus, tips of acacia flowers, honey, and gingerbread on the nose. Okay, I don't know about you, maybe you've got the nose can contain all that. I got bananas. <laughs> I definitely got something on the sweeter side. And it, the can goes on and says, upon first sips, Rainbow Peaks is characterized by a deep and beautiful harmony between notes of spices, dried fruits, sugar, and sweet bitterness. That I agree with. In other words, Rainbow Peaks will make you howl for more. Yeah, okay. Definitely 8.6 is a good score to go with. I'm only a little embarrassed because I didn't recognize this as a Belgian blonde ale when I was tasting it. I just came back from Belgium a week ago. You'd think I would have recognized a Belgian style beer. But I really enjoy this beer. Definitely recommend you check this one out. Cheers. Day 10, December 10th of the Cascadia Beer Advent Calendar. Without even getting into any more details, let's do the beer. Now, I let the last couple beers I really enjoyed. It's another dark one. Okay, Cascadia, did you listen to me? Because <laughs> crap, this is good. Pours nicely, nice dense foam. Smells very roasted. It's smooth. It's uh, a, bit of a bit of caramel in there too. Mmm. It's not bad. It's, uh, it feels, it's weird, I'm gonna say it tastes a little watery, which is, I don't know if that's a thing for beer. It doesn't quite taste as rich as other dark beer I've had. It's a little bitterness, not too bitter. This taste, again, I'm gonna guess, tastes like a dark ale. I don't get, get stout out of this when I'm, when I'm drinking it, nor do I get porter, but it could be. A lot of dark ales blend together. Hmm. It's well made, it's got some character to it. I had an 8.2 at the beginning of the calendar, near the beginning, and I think I like this better, so, I think I'm gonna go 8.3. Da, da, da. 
I will train Vanilla Porter. So it is a Porter, a Vanilla Porter. I didn't get the vanilla, but uh, I'll come back with some more details. Locality Brewing out of Langley, BC. That's what we're talking about. And it's called an Owl Train Porter, as you see on the, on the can on the screen there. 5% alcohol. I couldn't get the IBUs neither from the website nor from anywhere else. But I don't think it's that hoppy. So if there are IBUs, I would say it's on the low numbers, like 10 to 20. Uh, there's not much information on the website nor on the can about this beer. In fact, the big thing about Locality Brewing, uh, and they stress that, uh, is they do everything from, they call it field to glass. So they do the planting, the harvesting, the malting, the brewing, and of course the, the drinking. That's what the can says too. Uh, and the only other thing it says, and I don't get the reference, but it says on the can, forget the destination, go with the flow, and take a journey on the owl train. Uh -huh. The only reference I can find to owl train is a late night train. So again, there may be something from that location or from that brewery that means something doesn't mean anything to me. So back to the beer, the thing about the vanilla porter said, so I don't taste vanilla, but then I do, you take, you taste it, you swallow it, and then the vanilla hits you, a vanilla finish, if you will. So that's, uh, that's, that's, that's interesting, but it's certainly not a vanilla porter that I would suggest you get vanilla from date, from the first sip. It's only at, as an afterthought, the way this beer is made. So, so be it. I, I'll leave the score at 8.3. It's not a bad beer. I'd be tempted to lower it based on its uh, the vanilla, but I'll leave it at 8.3. Day 11 of the Cascadia Beer Advent Calendar. I just quickly looked at uh, the last few beer. We've had a good run. Last three days, beers have been in the eighth for score. So let's see what we get today. I, pred I was going to predict it's a lighter one. We've had a few darker, but that's and that's okay. Look at that. It's a nice, clear beer. Very nice. I smell, I smell something fresh. So maybe a hops, but also something fresh, but not citrus. Fresh. Mmm. It's very fresh, it's, a little, it's crisp. This is a well-made beer. Nice color, nice and fresh and crisp. There's a bit of hops on the back of the tongue. It's a bit of bitterness, not much. Yeah, I say again, crisp. This is a, a nice, clean, but I wanna say easy. It's a little more complex. It's not a guzzling beer. It's a, it's a beer that you can really enjoy sipping. On, on the lighter side. It's like it's a blonde ale, maybe, or, or a pilsner. Hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think I like this as much as the Belgian ale we had a little while ago, and as much as the porter, but it's definitely an eight. Uh, I'm gonna give this a same score as I gave one of the first beers. It's gonna be an 8.2. Really enjoying this. Let's find out what we got. It is a Pilsner. I got one right. <laughs> it's a, from the Slow Hand Beer Company, uh, 50 Mile Pilsner, crisp and dry. Slow Hand Beer Company out of Vancouver, British Columbia. The beer is called 50 Mile Pilsner, like I mentioned before, 5.2% alcohol, IBUs are 38. So a medium hoppy. As I said, I could, I could smell the hops when I was pouring it. Uh, Interesting, the website doesn't have much to say except, uh, you know, I guess stuff's in development. But the can goes on to say, all malt and hops used are both grown and processed within 50 miles of our brewery. That would be why it's called the 50 Mile Pilsner, in case you were wondering. Uh, it goes on to say, Slow Hand Brewery has been dabbling in sourcing raw materials from closer to home for the past few years. This particular beer, beer is brewed in small batches, according to the can. They only make enough based on what they can get their hands on locally or in the nearby area. In fact, the malt for this beer comes from Field 5 Farm in Sandishton. That's on the island, just north of uh, Victoria. And the hops are brewed by Topps Hops in Abbotsford, just down the road on the mainland from Vancouver. So, I like this Pilsner. I'm glad I gave it the score I did because I compared it to the last Pilsner we had, which I think was 7.8. This is definitely better and in fact, uh, 8.2. I like it. It might even be higher, but you definitely, 
I'm not going to raise the score. I, I like where it sits. But this is one of those you should check out if you can get your hands on it. From the sounds out on of it, it's a limited run, so maybe not. But uh, then check out any other beers from Slow Hand Beer Company, because I think they're on to something. Cheers. Day 12, December 12th. Halfway into the Cascadia Beer Advent Calendar. So here we go. Beer number 12. What do we got today? Look golden in color. Has potential. Hmm. A little citrus, I think, again. I like the color. Nice and golden amber color. I smell a bit of hops. It smells, smells interesting. I think it's an IPA. I'm not sure. There's quite a bit of hopping going on there, as it were. You know what? That's almost all I'm getting is a little bit of some hops. I'm not getting much else. It's um, interesting in the sense that it's not exciting. <laughs> Hmm. It's a fairly simple beer, in my opinion. I think if it is if it is an IPA, it's it's a reasonable IPA. It's a little, for example, it's a little more complex than Heaths or Keats from the Nova Scotia. If it's an IPA, it's quaffable. It's it's easy. I just got some hops, some malt. Uh, but not much else going on. It's a very, to me, a very fairly simple beer. Again, my taste palette is not the greatest. To me, this is a, about a little bit better than an average beer, so it's going to be in the sevens, and I'm going to say seven point, seven point six. Let's see what we got. And what we have is from Slackwater, uh, Slackwater Brewing, <laughs> a real time West Coast ale, West Coast ale. Interesting, maybe that's uh, why I couldn't identify it. I'm not that familiar with West Coast Ales, or like IPAs, I guess. Slackwater Brewing in Penticton, British Columbia. In fact, I've been to their brewery. Remember now, a couple years ago, uh, I went on a biking trip. Anyway, so this is called a Real Time, that's the name of the beer, a West Coast Ale, 4.9% uh, alcohol, 29 IBUs, and uh, yeah. On the can, on the website, and on the can, it says hopped exclusively, exclusively with Falconer's Flight, registered trademark, blend of the seven C hops. Not sure what that means exactly, but they go on and list them: Citra, Cascades, Centennial, Columbus, Crystal, Chinook, and Cluster. Ah, seven C's. <laughs> well, you got that many different kinds of hops in the water; it's a, it all blends together. It says these are paired with an approachable and simple grain bill. Expect a light, biscuity body with tropical floral, lemon, and grapefruit characteristics. Well, obviously I'm not good enough because I didn't get citrus, I didn't get floral, I don't get, I don't get uh, a grapefruit even. Maybe on the nose, remember when I first sniffed it, I had a bit of, bit of fruit, a bit of citrus, maybe that's, that's it, the extent of it. So, it is what it is. It's not a bad beer. To me, it's just a, a quaffable, easy beer. Uh, and I stick with my score. Not bad. So this brings to an end the, uh, the third episode, beers 9 through 12. We had some really good ones, uh, some mid to high eights. We had the Belgian Blondale, which I really liked. We had the Porter, which was pretty good. And even yesterday's beer, not with the Pilsner, not bad at all. Today was a little notch below. We'll see what next four beers bring. Hope you're enjoying this, and stay tuned. Cheers. Cheers.